Now, is so, there a difference in the, I guess, guest experience depending on the size of the event? So like if it's like, you know, just uh, uh, two lanes for a group of 10 people versus, you know, a 50 person event, does that change what the experience is like? Or how, do, how does that work with, with yourself? Sure. Well, of course, the, the venue can create a 50 person event and we actually have the ability to hide. We can publish an event, but hide it from the outside world. So the staff can see that configuration, what's in the package, or they can work with the client one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. Or they can they can publish that and the client can then ask, there's going to be certain specific questions. How many guests? Are they children and adults? What is the theme? Would you like, you know, whatever. Here's mm -hmm. the special add-ons. The add-ons could be for a large group. So from that perspective, it can handle, you know, large groups too. It kind of depends how the system's configured. It depends what they want to do. Yeah, because I've seen yeah. some people will have two different systems depending, they'll have like a cutoff. They say if it's less than 15 people, just book a lane straight from here. If it's a large event, go over here and this is a different process. Yeah, just it really depends on the party managers, how they do mm -hmm. things, when they want to get involved. I would mm -hmm. say one of our key things is at that moment of decision, if we could get somebody that's interested to fill out a field trip request form or you know, some other group event request with the details, different than just an email, hey, contact us. Right. The Party Works form is going to be specific for what the party team wants to know. So when they right. get it, here's what we're dealing with. They got all these things. Yeah. Yeah. Saves yeah. a lot of time. They can get back to the person quickly. Yeah. And in sales, you know, time is everything. Yep, exactly. Yeah, because because we do a little bit of that as well, and we found it's it's definitely a balance because you don't want to ask for too many things up front because you'll get a drop off in the response rate. But if you break it up and you just get contact data at first, and then you do a follow up and say, "Hey, here, by the way, here's what we need to get started," then you'll get a better compliance. And even if the person doesn't fill it out, you still have their contact information to follow up with them. Breaking it up yes. seems to, to help. Yeah, lots of different approaches. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you like this video? Great. We make five of them a week. Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.